everyone, it's Teresa here, and I'm here to talk to you about breaking out of the comfort zone. Poom. Boom. What is poom? I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm here to talk to you about breaking out of the comfort zone because that's what it's all about. You might be one of those people that likes to go out and get things and try new things. That's good because that is breaking out of your comfort zone. But you also might be one of those people that is so known to your own ways and doesn't want to do new things and doesn't want to try new things. However, you do realize that you are limiting yourself a little bit. I'm not saying that it's bad that you're comfortable where you're at. That's fine. You should realize that there are other opportunities out there and there are other things that you can do, but it takes effort and it's about going out and doing things rather than just staying to yourself all the time. As an introverted person, I can understand the fact when it's comfortable to be alone or to just do your own thing, but I also like breaking out of the norms and trying new things because there's so much to do in life. You know, life has so much to offer and I feel like everyone should get out there and try to do something. I actually had a conversation with my mom yesterday about being more organized and getting up at an earlier hour because I sometimes like to sleep in, especially since it's the summer. I find myself waking up at 10 a.m. and I think to myself once I'm awake, oh my gosh, I could have done so much by now, but I was asleep. And then by that time when you're waking up so late, you feel really lazy and groggy, like you really don't want to do anything. And that kind of sucks. So it's important to try to get yourself motivated and moving and put effort into your day and reach a goal instead of just, you know, laying around doing nothing, which I do sometimes. I am so known to procrastinate, especially on homework. I will just pull up Netflix and watch The Office or Parks and Recreation or Doctor Who or some other show that I'm in love with, basically, you know, because Netflix is life. But you have to realize that Netflix will always be there. It's good to marathon sometimes, but it's also not good to marathon all the time. You need to do other things with your life and make the effort to break out of your comfort zone and go actually be productive and do things for yourself. Being the student, I know that one day I want to reach a career that I really like. And in order to do that, you kind of have to be the entrepreneur and mold yourself to do things based on the things that you want to do to succeed. You know you can't just sit around and expect it to come to you. You have to go out there and do it. So what is a comfort zone? A comfort zone is a name given to a state that we are comfortable in. The first thing in order to break out of your comfort zone is to not make excuses. Don't make excuses and tell yourself, Oh, I'll go to the gym tomorrow. I didn't go today, but I'll go tomorrow. I'll eat some ice cream now and just lay around and watch TV, and I'll go to the gym tomorrow. I'm just coming up with a scenario. I'm not saying anything about anyone. But let's say tomorrow rolls around, and you told yourself you were going to go to the gym, and then you don't go. You're going to keep holding it off and telling yourself you're going to do it later, and then it never happens. You have to be productive, make the effort, make the initiative. The second thing you need to do is to be brave and take those chances. Go out there and try something new, you know? I wasn't really getting into videotaping and videography, but now I think it's kind of fun. And I wasn't able to know that until I tried it. And now that I tried it, I'm like, hey, breaking out of my comfort zone can be fun. I'm a very introverted person, but it's fun being extroverted on camera and portraying that part of me to an audience that might be watching. So I think that breaking out of your normalities of your everyday life is also good for your mentality and for yourself because you're able to tell people about these experiences that you've had, these new experiences that they want to hear about. You've got stories to tell now and it's also good for you mentally because it's keeping your brain working. It's making you exercise it so that you're not so stuck to just one thing. You're more outgoing and you've got a range of things that you can do. It's not just one thing. And I think that's really, really important, especially for the future and the workplace. If you're going to do something um, 
in a career with communications or with social media, but not just that. You can be an engineer or a scientist or any other kind of career and just have all of these different hobbies and I don't know what I'm doing, but different experiences and different things that you've opened yourself up to and people will see that and be like, whoa, you're really cool. But it's not just about other people, it's about you. It'll make you feel so awesome that you've done all of that. So, you know, I think that sticking to the norm is old. It's all about trying the new because that's what life should be about. You might be thinking, Teresa, well, how do I go about breaking out of my comfort zone? Because I'm stuck in the habit of not doing that. Well, I can tell you in a few easy steps. First, plan your goals. Second, plan your time. Third, plan your resources. Fourth, plan the process. Fifth, plan for the distraction that may interfere your concentration. And sixth, plan for failure, because let's be honest, everyone fails. If you try something new and it doesn't work out the first time, don't get distraught because there's always a second time, there's always a third time. You can't get so caught up in failing the first time because it's about what you want to do. It's about putting yourself out there in the end. And you know, life has its ups and downs. We're not all perfect, but that just means try again. It doesn't hurt. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Literally nothing. So go out there, break out of those comfort zones, and just stay true to you. And it's going to be awesome, I promise. So I'll catch you next time. See you later, alligator.